All right, so we're gonna morph words into words and we're gonna create something cool right here in After Effects. What's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is a really easy tutorial. You're gonna be able to take any word that you want and just morph it into another word. And also you're gonna be able to take a shape like a line and morph that into a word or take the word and morph it into a line. So a lot of morphing going on here, very easy to do. So we're gonna jump into our tutorial and we're gonna get started. So here we are in this beautiful version of After Effects. And what you wanna do is have out your title. So type out all your titles so you know what you wanna say. And what I suggest doing, always start with the largest word. So we have five characters here versus four on this word. We're gonna morph these two words together. It's gonna to be fun. So when you have your word typed out, what you do is you right click your title layer and you go to create and you click on create shapes from text. And this will create a shape layer. And then you wanna grab your second title, of course, which is down over here, and you wanna do the same exact thing. Right click it, create, and click on create shapes from text. So what we'll do is grab our first big word shape layer and we'll hit U twice on a keyboard to bring up all of the paths for each of the letters. And what we're gonna do here is right at the perfect time, we're gonna add a keyframe for each path. So you see I'm going through each uh, stopwatch and add a keyframe for every letter that has a path. Perfect, and then you just hit U on your keyboard and boom, there are the keyframes. Then we'll go to our second outline, our second word, and we'll do the same thing. We'll hit U twice on our keyboard to bring up all of the paths. What we're going to do is we're going to select the first letter here, which is path F, and we're going to copy it. And we'll come back to the first word and we'll come here to the top path. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste that keyframe in there. So what's going to happen is that this letter is going to morph into that letter. And you see, perfect. And moving on to our next letter, you'll see that we have the letter A and it has two paths in here and you gotta keep this in mind. What we'll do is we'll grab the top path and we'll copy it and we'll come here to the second path of our outline and we'll paste that in there. And one thing you'll notice, it's kind of hard to see that we have to paste in the outline here. So what we do is open up this layer and you'll see that we only have one path for the letter U. So what we need to do is come here to add and add a path, okay? Then we also need to come here to add and add a merge paths. Then what we can do is add a keyframe for that path one right there and move that keyframe back in time. And then we'll go back to the second path of letter A when it has double you know, paths and you'll just paste that path in there. And come here to merge paths and set the mode to subtract. Perfect. So what you're doing now is we're allowing the second letter to just morph into there when there's multiple paths for those letters. So usually it's not that complex, but for that one, you have that problem solved. So now what we do is go here to the third path, which is S, we'll copy that. And what I suggest doing when you have two paths that you don't need, you just go ahead and copy and paste those keyframes in there together. So both of those paths will just morph into there. So those are some workarounds here. And then we have our last letter here, which is letter T and very simple, come here to E and paste that in there. And you see that we have an extra letter here. We could always just copy those same last path in there and that word will just morph, morph into that word if you wanna do it that way. And I think that's totally fine and clean. And what we can do here to help this animation is what we can grab all of our keyframes here and hit F9 on our keyboard for easy ease, of course. And what we'll do is go through each path here. We'll grab the points down here and just kind of drag these handles inward. And this will just allow for a very smooth and kind of like a flick animation. So you do that for every path. Boom, we have this beautiful morph between two words and it looks super smooth. And of course, if you wanna add on more words that we're using here, just go ahead and use the same exact paths and you can build out an entire title sequence using these techniques. So I'm gonna show you this line morph technique and of course, so a little bit more morphability effects, just made that word up. And before we move further on to tutorial, I wanna give a huge shout out to our 650 motion graphics starter pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics starter pack extension with 650 elements. And what's great about it is we have a handful of templates and I'm gonna show you these right now. So for example, you're doing title work, you're watching this video, so you clearly do some titles. And what you can do is preview a title template right here out of 210 and you see what you want. And when you find something you like, click apply. And with one click of a button, it adds a full title template composition to your After Effects project. We can go into this template and easily change out our words. We can quickly change our colors with a click of a button to whatever we want. And we can also update some of our graphics here to help fit this box a little bit better with our title. That looks much better. And our main composition, everything updates. And now we have a full workable title template in here. But you know, I want to take this to the next level. I want to add a little bit more flair to this. So we come into our motion graphics folder where we have about 160 motion graphic templates. And one thing we'd like to add here are clusters. And these are quite beautiful. 
And now with some accent motion graphic clusters added, we're able to add a little bit more detail to our title template and help taking this to the next level. And then obviously we have animated backgrounds. And we'll go ahead and finish off this composition by applying one of these as well. And by adding an animated background, we have a full After Effects composition that we put together within a few clicks, saving a tremendous amount of time not having to create this from scratch. And you can use this in any After Effects project, so you don't have to start a new project file. You can have your active project and you can start bringing in templates. So if you want to take a look at all the elements in our pack, I will link our pack below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right. So just in case you don't want to do this extra line here, let me show you how you can take the morph effect even further. So we have our outline morph here. And one thing we should do is always turn on motion blur, but you know, that just does a little bit of work. What we should do if we really want to be professionals, doesn't really matter. Go to effect time and add a echo effect to this. And what we're going to do here is we'll hold down control on our keyboard and we'll bring this down to like point or negative 0.013. I'm coming to a number of echoes and set this up to five there and boom. And we can also come here to decay and set this down to like 0.8 around there. Now what's going to happen is that the morph is just going to be way more smooth with the echo effect. So you can see it kind of applies like a very nice smoothing effect to our morph here. So make sure to add that if you really want to make it smooth and subtle. All right, so morph this into a line. It's very easy. What we'll do is we'll come here, grab the rectangle tool, and we're just going to draw out a box, you know, to cover up our title. We have our shape layer here. Here, Make sure you center up the layer, you know, whatever. What we're going to do is open up rectangle one, come here, rectangle path, and right click it. Click on convert to Bezier path. I always want to say Bezier. It's called Bezier. And we'll open up path one and we'll go ahead and copy the path. We can, you know, delete the shape layer. We don't need it. And we'll come here to our outlines layer and we'll just hit U on our keyboard. So we'll come here to our timeline. We'll grab all the paths and we'll go ahead and paste that into there. So boom, it's going to morph into a word. So now our line is going to morph into a word. We have to time out some, you know, keyframes here. So what we should do is take our first set of keyframes here, copy those, kind of paste them forward here. We can start working out the timing here. So now, you know, we have our line here, morphs into our first word, and then it'll stay up there for a little, you know, for a second or so, and then it'll morph over to our second word. So time that out perfectly by using those copy and pasting the keyframes. And we can animate this line to come in, of course. So we'll just, what we'll do is we'll just hit S on keyboard for scale. We'll add a keyframe for this, bring that keyframe forward by a little bit. We'll break the chain, come here to the uh, X size and set this to 0%. Make those easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And of course, if you want to, you can always animate the line out, but do whatever you want now. You have all the techniques available to you to morph words into shapes or obviously words to words. So that's our tutorial on morphing words to words or words to shapes or shapes to words. A lot of words here, but I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.